Okay guys, it is Friday night. It is 10 o'clock at night and I've just been on Facebook and a message came up saying that the eruption has started. <laughs> I'm quite excited about this as you can tell. Obviously the worry has gone now. We've had, what, two, three weeks of earthquakes? I'm just gonna go outside now, you can't see anything. Where it is is basically through all of that. You can't see anything. <laughs> and you can actually feel that the volcano has erupted, so it's so that warm and you can be yeah. topless outside. <laughs> I've got on my winter coat. So yeah, maybe in the next few days there will be some really cool pictures, but I think it's not a huge amount of drama. I think we all, we've lived with this for like a month now that we're, we're kind of at the stage where we know and it's too cold. So this isn't going to be a big dramatic thing and that from where we are <laughs> we're actually okay, we're not that far away but mm. it's going to be fine isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> We survived! <laughs> so the eruption did happen last night, it happened around quarter to nine and it's one of the, what do you say? Fish, fisher. Yeah, fisher. It's a fisher. It's all fisher. <laughs> it's a fisher eruption so they think it's about 300, 400 meters long and yeah they've said that basically it's in the best place and that it will just slowly uh, flow out to sea. No one has been evacuated, no drama, all chill, all no, Icelandic uh, dust. Our Minister of Volcanic Eruptions and Earthquakes went up there in her, her helicopter last night and, and took her the helicopter. Well it's the Coast so Guard but you know if you're a minister it's all yours you know. What's yours is mine. Okay. <laughs> So she went up there and she confirmed that all the pretty lights were actually lava, not just some pranksters running around with lights. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, very exciting. We're all safe. No one has been evacuated. It's not near any, like, any towns or anything. No, not really. No, no There's towns no of importance. <laughs> it's <laughs> near Grindavik. Okay. There's no gas at the moment, so... Yeah. yeah, there's a little gas, but okay. I blame Thank it on you. the curry. <laughs> so yeah, basically this morning everything is just just normal life. It's a very grey, grey cold day out there. The uh, lava has not warmed anything up. And Ingemar is not going to go to the bakery for me. So he's basically sending his foreign wife out into a volcanic eruption to go to the bakery. Just ask for a <laughs> discount of the lava bread. <laughs> I'll take you with me and we'll go up to Perthland and see if we can see anything from there. But obviously roads are closed everywhere and we can't fly the drone because that's banned. So can't really do anything. I will insert a few clips of what I can find for you that I can share. Um, because it looks pretty damn awesome. It really does. And I think because I know it's safe. It's very interesting. It's been nice knowing you. I will miss you. <laughs> I will make sure Mia remembers you. Yeah, thanks. See you later. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get some heat in this car. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take up to Perthland. I don't think we're gonna see anything because it's just such a miserable day. And I'm not going to make any more effort than that because it would be stupid to drive out of town. And I think all the roads are closed anyway. And I really don't think there's much to see because the experts are up taking all the pictures anyway. And then I'm going to go to the bakery and get some yummy breakfast. And then, yeah, that's about it. It's kind of like there's a volcanic eruption happening, but not much else is really happening. Life goes on as normal here. That the red dust is totally the, the term that applies. <laughs> so just as I suspected, you can't see anything. I will zoom in again so that you can see the landscape. But, I mean, some of that could be smoke. If you get to tell it in school. I'll give you a little pan of the area, so. 
and obviously that's Kaler there which is the extinct volcano it does look like it's going to be the volcano but the eruption is happening I think just behind that really so if we've all watched Ingmar's video we know it's Fagradalsfjat I think that's kind of how you pronounce it but there we go you can't really see anything if you've clicked on this video hoping to see us hiking towards an active volcano that's definitely not what you're gonna see and I would suggest that you go over to Reykjavik Grapevine or whatever other channels to actually see the volcano in action because we are just gonna respect the expert's advice that there are toxic gases, dangerous gases, the ground is, is dangerous and I'm sorry but for now we are not going anywhere near it. So I have tried to gather together some videos that people have made on Instagram and I'm quite happy to show their username. <laughs> I encourage you to go over and support them because they've either done a helicopter ride or they've already been taken out there in the first couple of days as kind of a press trip and as I just think that's wonderful. They've got amazing footage. hiking out to the volcano because it does look incredible. 10 years ago, 20 years ago, yeah, probably would have been one of the first days straight out there. But right now, no. I know I've had so many messages on Instagram and even on here I'm getting a couple of comments already saying that they hope to see a hike. It's starting to feel like a weird kind of peer pressure where people are kind of saying, but there's so many people doing it and there's elderly people and children doing it but that doesn't make it okay it doesn't make it safe and if the experts are saying to stay home because there's dangerous gases if you've done the hike then well done on you and i'm glad that you got back safe and fingers crossed we are on a wait list to go on a helicopter take my money take me there safely and if we need to get the heck out of there then we can and that's great. This is very exciting, but for me personally, I wanna stay safe and I'm just so glad that the earthquakes have stopped touch wood for now and that this isn't, this is quite a small volcanic eruption and isn't too harmful to any of us. So Mia is now in the hot seat watching her volcano. What do you think of it, Mia? No volcano. Volcano? Mm -hmm. What do you think of the volcano? Baby. Is it a baby one? Yeah, it's just small, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hot. Yeah, it's really hot. Yeah. Definitely. And all these people are very silly. Look how many people there are. <laughs> it's very hot there. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like one big crater now. Baby. It's been a lot of that that's fallen today. I feel very, very unsettled by it and I kind of just want to move on from it. Which is a wee bit sad because it is an epic thing to be happening. That's all I'm gonna say and I hope that you can respect that because this is difficult. I want to create amazing content for you and I know that that hike out to the volcano would be that content you want to watch but I don't want to put anyone <laughs> in any kind of danger especially people who are volunteering to look after people who are maybe not experts in hiking to an active volcanic site. The other news is we have just gone into another lockdown which happened last night midnight so I had Mia at home with me trying to edit, film, upload and everything whilst looking after a toddler and hoping that Ingemar can still be at work in the office. Yes, this is a bit of a juggle, a bit of a struggle, but we're managing. The place is an absolute mess. But yeah, everyone's going through it right now. And life is just mad at the moment, isn't it? Volcanoes, earthquakes, COVID. 
is exhausting. I hope you're all well. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and just at least touch and base with us again this week, trying to stay on top of a video a week and bringing you as good content as we can safely. So that's it from us. We will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions or just want to kind of put anything out there. Try and stay clear of the hike to the volcano. So I hope you're not in too big a lockdown and we're just sending you positive vibes. Bye.